Okay, so today we're still focused on the sugar, but I wanna talk to you about habits. The power of habits is phenomenal. Okay, most of our life is ran on habits. This is great. I mean, God designed us to be efficient beings. Habits are a good thing. However, they also can be a negative thing. So how does a habit work? A habit works by having a cue, a trigger of some kind, and we do an action, and that action gives us a reward so that the next time we get that cue or trigger, we do the same action and we get to get that reward, okay? And we get into this loop to the point where that becomes the routine to get that reward, okay? Pretty simple. Here's my favorite one, right? We're done with dinner and our palate says, oh, it's time for sugar, right? That's our cue, we're done with dinner. Our action step is we give ourselves a little bit of sugar we get that reward. We get that dopamine hit, our body likes it, so that the next time we finish dinner, we get that cue and our body's like, yeah, this is the action step I want you to take and this is the reward. And guess what? You're almost doing it without even realizing it. You're just going in, you're grabbing that sugar and you're not even knowing because it is a habit. So now we think, well, how do I break that habit, right? Now, there's all this willpower. I'm just not gonna listen to that cue. I'm just not gonna do it. Okay, that only lasts for so long. Because it, it's a habit, especially if you've had it for a while, right? You're not even gonna realize you're doing it. So what we need to do is we literally need to take a break and figure out what can we do to break this cycle so it doesn't even go in that direction. So this is how we have to do it. It is a loop in our brain. So we have to do something different with this cue to start a new action step to give us a reward to get us back, right? We gotta change the circle. So one of my favorite things to try and do with this is say, okay, so we've got this cue, we've got dinner that's just happened, and we want that sugar, okay? Going to the sugar-free option is still keeping you in this reward cycle. So it's not enough of a change because you're still doing this little action, this reward, and it's just a little bit different. I wanna like completely revamp the circle. So leave the kitchen, go brush your teeth. So what does that do? One, I've just changed the way the trigger sees it, okay? It's Cause I've left the kitchen. And now I've also decided to turn a different action in there and that action changes the palate in our mouth, right? Cause that's part of the trigger is the palate change, okay? So now that I've changed that palate, my body is like, whoa, this isn't anything. And it is like thinking, it's trying to go, wait, 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 I don't know where to go because you change the action and you're starting to do a whole different circle. So what I want you to try and do, if this is a trigger, right? Is to figure out how can I change that to be a completely different model, okay? Not to just slightly, cause that's gonna get you right back into it. I wanna change it completely. So I'm gonna do something like leave the kitchen. I'm gonna go brush my teeth. Now, it's not real hard, it's not a lot of time, but now I've changed the environment in the space that I see and in the palate of my mouth, and now I've gotten a different reward of like, oh, that feels refreshing, and my mind is not looking, it's not getting that cue anymore. So it's not desiring this action as much anymore, okay? So this is one of the things we gotta look at is saying, you have to take some time and say, what are my cues and triggers First, that's the first step. What's my cue and trigger? Is it done with dinner? Is it um, in the afternoon when I feel um, sluggish, right? What's my cue or trigger? Is it when I'm tired? What can I do to change that behavior? If it's when I'm tired, do I need to go outside for five minutes, take a sl slow walk around the block, five minutes long, and that changes that environment and changes the cue into a different circle, okay? So the first thing is figure out what your triggers are and then coming up with different action steps to change the environment and to change it so that this cue and trigger have a different avenue, a completely different route in your brain to determine it, okay? So that is gonna be one of the ways you have success with this trigger challenge. Hope you enjoy, have a great day.